confusingly named, but a superbly engineered luxury hatchback pros decent power, exceptional engine, luxurious interior, attractive price cons who wants a luxury hatchback. Value for money pretty darn good considering it's a BMW what would I change? The name how I would spec it? Without the remote parking package that's for sure, but I'd probably take the advanced driver assistance package just to get the active cruise control system and I'd certainly opt for the dynamic handling package. BMW's latest twist on its ever-expanding 6 Series lineup is proof of just how stubborn my dear old mom might have even said pig-headed German automotive engineers can be. We know this because they're taking yet another stab at selling we. North Americans a Gran Turismo version of its mid-size luxury sedan. For those who don't remember the ill-fated original, the 5 Series GT proved to be the only BIM of BMW brand slaves wouldn't fall for, the semi-sloped roof luxury hatchback languishing on dealer lots like former Trump executives waiting their day in court. In other words, it wasn't pretty. Click here for exclusive local dealer pricing on the 2018 BMW 6 Series and yet, like Big Mama's house or, worse yet, Star Wars, The Last Jedi, we have the sequel, a little swoopier and a little snazzier than the original, perhaps, but for all intents and purposes following the same basic formula, which is to offer luxury intenders a little more practicality at the expense of style. Will they buy that? I'm not really. Sure, to be perfectly honest, the GT is one of the few times in recent memory where I can't proffer an exacting evaluation. It is, well, confusing. At least some of the reason is that the BMW's badging, 640iX Drive Gran Turismo, is the most confusing naming I've heard of since George Foreman decided to name every one of his five sons, well, George, Mr. Forsman's progeny are officially George Jr., George III, George IV, George V and George VI, which, as you can imagine makes things a little interesting, say. When Monk a big wheel, George Sr.'s nickname for George III and George IV apply for a driver's license at the DMV. Here's how BMW's naming nomenclature is supposed to work. In non-SUV BMW land, odd numbers are sedans and even numbers are coupes. Hence, a 440i is the coupe AFI version, if you will, of the 340i sedan. The same for the 5 and 6. Simple, right? Except that the first thing that BMW did, once it established this seemingly logical nomenclature, was to introduce the 6 Series Grand Coupe, which turned out to have four doors. Oh, when BMW's rhetoric, it has coupe-like styling so the 6 Series appellation was still appropriate. How the 640i Gran Turismo, which is neither true coupe or even remotely coupe-like but, in fact a five-door hatchback, fits in as anyone's guess. The problem with all this is the confusion it causes to potential consumers, even BMW loyalists. My next-door neighbor, who might as well have BMW's spinning propeller tattooed on his buttocks so assiduously does he promote the brand, had no idea where it fit into the BMW. Lexicon Why does all this matter? Well, mainly because the last thing the fashionably wealthy who shop BMW want to do is justify the purchase of their new $80,000 automobile. Indeed, one of the main benefits of buying a Bimmer is never having to explain why you bought one. Hearing one's neighbors say, I've never seen one of those before, is hardly likely to endear the GT to its potential clientele. Or to put it more simply, it is difficult to evoke the envy of friends and family if they're not quite sure what they're supposed to be coveting. But there is very good reason they should shop the Gran Turismo, namely that the 640i may be, at least by my reckoning, the best big BMW sedan in many a moon. Depending on your mindset, is it a roomy 5 or a slightly truncated 7? The 640i GT might be perfectly right. Sized, noticeably more spacious than a 5 in the rear, there's also more headroom than in the 6 Series Grand Coupe. Riding a little taller than its 6 Series stablemates, it's also easier to get into out of, for the senior types who typically can afford such expensive transportation. 
trunk space, and access, is excellent thanks to the hatchback format. The new version of the GT thankfully does away with that complicated, convoluted dual-hinged lift gate of the original. That right sizing also makes the GT more fun to drive. Oh, it still feels, shall we say, largish in tight parking, but it's certainly not the behemoth the 7 Series has become. Behind the wheel, that translates into tighter steering, thanks to the optional four-wheel steering system, firmer suspension and most, if not quite all, of the road holding that the ultimate driving machine is famous for. Halfway between mid-size 5 and gargantuan 7, the 6 Series GT makes a very alluring compromise, as does the engine. Indeed, perhaps the GT's most compelling argument is that it is the six-cylinder powered 7 Series that BMW doesn't make anymore. Perhaps the smoothest engine short of a V12, the inline 6 is making something of a comeback and now that the 7 no longer offers any combination of pistons less than 8 V. GT is the biggest sedan, except for the 640i Grand Coupe, which, again, is most definitely not a sedan, you can get powered by BMW's wonderful 3.0-liter turbocharged 6. Powerful, torquey and impossibly smooth, this is all the motor even a large car, the GT weighs. In it a not insubstantial 2,000 kilograms, ever really need, it's 335 horsepower and 332 pound-feet of torque, available as low as 1,380 revolutions per minute, good enough to accelerate the big six from rest to 100 km per hour in just 5.3 seconds. Mate to BMW's X-Drive AWD system through a ZF8 speed automatic, this is as sophisticated as luxury sedan, oops, coupe, hatchback or whatever the hell this is powertrains get. The GT's interior is also pretty darned impressive. Essentially, most of the 7 Series gadgetry packed into 5 Series pricing. The GT has, for one thing, BMW's latest eDrive technology. Firmly rejecting the trend to iPad-like touchscreen infotainment system, eDrive sticks resolutely to the tried-and-true clickable mouse controller. Yes, there are still quite a few sub-menus, you have to go through three to pair a cell phone, but they are far more logically laid out than the original system, which had an interface only Stephen Hawking could appreciate. More importantly, BMW's latest voice recognition has one of the best, if not the very best, voice control systems in the biz. Everything from loading an address in the navigation system to resetting the trip meter can be commanded by voice, first time, every time. BMW's latest gesture control system is on offer, as the remote control parking system. Both, to my mind, are more than a little gimmicky but gimmicks that will never fail to impress the aforementioned neighbors. BMW's base audio system gets the job done, though my testers Bowers and Wilkins Diamond surround sound system was noticeably more sonorous. Most of all, though, the GT's interior offers most, if not quite, all, the luxuriousness one expects from an even more expensive BMW. Indeed, the best thing about the GT is that it marries most of the 7 Series interior comfort and goodies, the fleetness of foot of the smaller 5 and, thanks to that hatchback layout, that's disguising itself as a sedan. Oops, coupe. It has almost as much cargo capacity as BMW's own X5, and, in fact, more than the 5 Series wagon sold in Europe. In other words, the 640i X Drive Gran Turismo is one fine automobile, all of which makes the new GT something of a social experiment. Its predecessor, the much-unloved 5 Series Gran Turismo, failed to capture consumers' attention because of both positioning that GT hatchback rant I went on earlier, and because, well, it wasn't a very good car. This updated version, however, is everything a BMW should be, smart, sporty and safe. But will the faithful accept it as one of their own? Or will they, as they did with the previous 5 Series version, be confused as to why BMW brought it to Canada?
BMW is obviously cognizant of this challenge, pricing the base 640i Gran Turismo at $76,700, bargain basement pricing by Munich standards. Will that be enough to coax Canadians into hatchback 6? Like I said, a social experiment. All-wheel drive luxury hatchback 3.0-liter turbocharged inline 6 335 horsepower at 5,500 to 6,500 revolutions per minute, 332 pound-feet. At 1,380 to 5,200 revolutions per minute, 8-speed automatic four-wheel disc with ABS P245 45th SAR $1976,700 per $97,150-2,245 L, 100 km, 11.9 city, 8.4 highway, 3.0 liter turbocharged i6, 8-speed automatic transmission, X-Drive all-wheel drive, power Power door locks, windows and mirrors, four-zone climate control air conditioning, heated front and rear seats, electrically power-assisted steering, Bluetooth connectivity, adjustable steering wheel, heated steering wheel, rear-view camera, autonomous, emergency braking, AEB, tire pressure monitoring system, lane departure warning, rear collision prevention, cross-traffic warning rear, blind spot detection, dual stage front airbags and front and rear side curtain airbags, side air airbags, knee airbags for driver and front seat passenger, approach control warning for pedestrians in vehicles, and more premium package, IINCL. Universal remote control, soft close doors, side and sear sunshades, ventilated comfort seats with massage function for driver and passenger, ceramic controls, parking assistant plus with surround view, Sirius XIM satellite radio, BMW connected drive services, professional dynamic handling package, IINCL, integral active steering and executive drive. Advanced Driver Assistance Package, IINCL, Driving Assistant Plus, Steering and Lane Control, Evasion Assist, Cross Traffic Alert, Active Cruise, Control with Stop and Go, Lane Keep Assistance, Remote Parking Package, IINCL, Remote Control Parking, BMW Display Key, Bowers and Wilkins. Audio system, ambient air package, smartphone connectivity package, 